Wow, what an exciting day. Good morning. As many of you know, I open every event or press conference with, it's a great day on the bayou. Well, today, on this historically great day on the bayou, we just happen to be a little bit north of 700 University Avenue. And we could not be more proud about what you're about to hear. In fact, we are bursting with eagerness to share this incredible news. My name is Lisa Miller, and I currently serve as the Vice President for Enrollment Management and University Relations at the University of Louisiana Monroe. And it is indeed my honor to serve as the MC for this announcement. We have a number of very important guests with us today that I would like to quickly recognize. I'm going to try to be as fast as Roy, but maybe not quite as fast. I would like to first begin with President Berry's Executive Council. Please stand as I call your name, but hold the applause. Dr. Mark A. Rant, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. If you're standing, just raise your hand. Dr. Bill Graves, Vice President for Business Affairs. Dr. Mike Camille, Vice President for Information uh, Services and Student Success. Dr. Valerie Fields, Vice President for Student Affairs. Ms. Cherie Carradine, Executive Counsel to the President for Legal Affairs, Protected Rights, and Title IX Compliance. And Mr. Seth Hall, Chief Strategy Officer, and John Hartwell, our new Athletic Director. I would also like to introduce ULM's Academic Deans. Dr. John Pratt, Dean of the College of Arts and Education and Sciences. Dr. Michelle McCann, Dean of the College of Business and Social Sciences. Dr. Wendy Bales, Interim Dean of the College of Health Sciences. Dr. Glenn Anderson, Dean of the College of Pharmacy. And Dr. Shushma Krishnamurthy, Dean of the Graduate School. And at this time, I would like for all of our ULM administer, administrators, faculty, staff, and students to please stand or raise your hand. I always think this is an amazing thing, how many people have been a part of ULM. Yay. <laughs> I don't want to leave this very important group out. If you're an alumni of ULM, please raise your hand or stand. We have over 80,000 alumni that the university has served over our 92 years. We are so fortunate to have elected officials who tirelessly support us throughout the year. We would like to take this opportunity to publicly acknowledge them Representing us in D.C. are Senator Bill Cassidy, represented today by Angie Robert, Senator John Kennedy, represented today by Hannah Livingston, Congresswoman and ULM alumna, Dr. Julia Letlow, and we also have our friend, former Congressman Rodney Alexander. Representing us in Baton Rouge, we would be unable to progress without them. And I should mention that this year they went and be above and beyond for ULM. Senator Stuart Cathy, Senator Katrina Morris, K K Katrina Jackson, Senator Jay Morris, Senator Glenn Womack, Representative Michael Eccles, Representative Adrian Fisher, Representative Foy Gadbury. Representative Jack McFarlane, Representative Pat Moore, Representative Neil Reiser, Representative Francis Thompson, and Representative Chris Turner. Our local mayors are also here today with us that you will hear from later in the program. Mayor Friday Ellis and all the members of the Monroe City Council. Mayor Stacy Mitchell and members of the West Monroe Board of Aldermen. Mayor Matt Talbert and members of the Town Council. Representing our Washita police jury is President Shane Smiley and other members of the police jury. I would also like to recognize these people as well. We have some representatives from VCOM today, Dean Sanders and his staff, Monroe Chamber President and CEO Roy Heatherly, West Monroe Chamber and Executive Director Christopher Kelly, Representing, representing Lieutenant Governor Nungesser's office is former Representative Mike Walsworth. Representing the ULM Board of Supervisors is our current president, Liz Pierre. Thank you, Liz. 
and representing the Board of Regents is Christian Creed. And last but not least, Alana Cooper, President and CEO of Discover Monroe and West Monroe. If I missed any elected officials, please raise your hand now. Thank you all. Let's give them a round of applause. And today it is especially important to recognize these people. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge all the current and former employees of Lumen. Please stand so you can be recognized for your contributions to this corporation and to our community. Today, Tuesday, June the 27th, 2023, is a day when we all come together to dream about the possibilities for ULM and all of Northeast Louisiana. There is no doubt that with the collaboration and support of the people in this room and watching, what you are about to learn about has the potential to yield more than we could ever dream possible. We must always remember too much home is given, much is expected. I would now like to introduce to you Stephanie Polk, Vice President of Customer Service and Advocacy, and ULM alumna to speak on behalf of Lumen. Wow, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, Lumen and ULM have had a long history of partnerships and collaborations. At this moment, it really is full circle for me. Um, as Dr. Miller said, I am a graduate from ULM in computer science, and uh, I started my career here as a college intern 26 years ago. So I'm truly honored to be a part of this. Like the thousands of employees that have been a part of the Lumen family, I am so proud of what we've built here and its impact on this area. With the shift to hybrid uh, work, our employees have greater flexibility as to where they work and their work-life balance. And so the use of this facility just looks a little different now. We care deeply about our community and strive to make a difference for our children and our future generations. With today's campus donation, it truly is a great way for ULM and Lumen to benefit our community and make something stronger together. Lumen was built on Mr. Williams' unifying principles. Commitment to excellence was one of those values. And today is another example of that commitment, not only to our business, but to this community. Our company was born here. And today we continue that service to Monroe and the community by providing for future generations. It's with that legacy in mind that we turn the keys of this campus over to its new owners, the University of Louisiana Monroe. I think we can all just go home now, right? Wow, how do you follow that? Um, this key, represents so much. The magnitude, the impact is immeasurable. Um, it's also representative of a long time partnership. And as Stephanie said, this is just another way to continue that partnership, to continue to grow our community, our region, and as the key says, to change lives. Uh, on behalf of ULM and our facilities core, it's certainly an honor and a privilege for me to thank the CEO and President of Lumen, Kate Johnson, all the executive team, their board of directors, the amazing leadership team that helped us get to this point this morning. Um, 
You know, I never know what I'm going to say when I get in front of an audience, and I, I, I scribbled some things down, but I'm going to deviate from that. Lisa shared a, a quote that, that's actually uh, one of our good friends, and one of my friends says at every speech that he gives, and he knows who he is, to whom much is given, much is required. And that means a lot of different things, but, but I can promise you that as president of ULM and with all of our partners in this room, we're going to do everything we can to make sure that we are held accountable for Lumen's generous gift, that they are placing on us the opportunity and the accountability to continue their work and our work and changing lives in this region and creating a community that we can all be very proud of. So thank you to everyone who's been involved in this. Stephanie, thank you for being here on behalf of Lumen. We sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. And now I invite Senator Stuart Cathy for some remarks. Dr. Perry said he never has a script. I always do. Um, so you don't end up like Francis Thompson and rambling up here. Um, look, thank you all for the, the opportunity to speak today. Um, and I want to echo what, what Dr. Berry said to, to Lumen. Thank you for the donation. Um, I think this is going to be a, a great opportunity uh, for the region. This facility, as I said, has served this region and beyond in the past. And I think it's a great opportunity for this facility to continue to serve our region and beyond in the future. Um, I see several members of the, the Williams family here today. And, uh, you know, Mr. Williams was the ultimate small business success story. And hopefully this facility will breed the next ultimate small business success story in the future. So with that, thank you all. Next is our mayor of Monroe, Mayor Friday Ellis. Good morning, and since Roy's not up here, I will say today is a beautiful day in the city of Monroe, and I've got to stay on script, but first I want to express my heartfelt appreciation to Lumen, uh, former CenturyLink, for your unwavering commitment and your investment in our community, and throughout your historic investments uh, created opportunities and uh, life-changing incomes for people in here, and that can't be unsaid or unspoken today. Uh, throughout history, Lumen, formerly known as Century Telephone Enterprises and CenturyLink, has been at the forefront of innovation, starting from the days of a simple switchboard in a parlor by Clark and Marie Williams in Oak Ridge, Louisiana. I uh, got to tell Miss Verretta, I'm sorry, but you, you really touched me today, and I want to talk about a little story you told. Ms. Verretta talked about the kindness of Mr. Williams and how he said this foundation was built on love. And I can tell you and the family and Lumen, there's another person here today that reminds me of that, and that's Dr. Ron Berry and his vision and the people at ULM. Dr. Berry, the very first time I sat down with Dr. Berry, I asked Dr. Berry, what are your goals at the university and how can we help you achieve them? And admittedly, I expected, hey, we need to grow enrollment need to win some football games. This man looked at me and he said, I want to eradicate poverty in Northeast Louisiana. That's the man that's taking over this legacy and that is at the helm of this decision today. So I can say it's in good hands and good stewardship to carry on that legacy. This man's from Winsboro. He understands the communities that we serve. We as mayors have to lead regionally because that's how our people live. And regionally, this has grown the success of families and people here that have benefited from this. And I can't go out, go, let today go, to, go away without saying thank you to everybody that's been involved in this. Um, the partnership we celebrate today marks a significant milestone in the evolution of this physical space. Our beloved university, ULM, has been an integral part of our city, leaving an indelible mark on every corner of our region. It's no secret how profound and how proud we are of our university 
And the news that its presence is expanding to this campus gives us great hope and excitement for the future of not only Monroe, but our region. Our city has a rich history of embracing progress and supporting initiatives that drive innovation and growth. This partnership between Lumen and ULM embodies that essence and the spirit of our community. So as we stand on the cusp of this new endeavor and this new chapter in the city of Monroe and our region, we eagerly await for what lies ahead and what's about to unfold. The possibilities are endless here. Dr. Barry, I know we've talked a lot about what can go on. Sometimes that's dangerous. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, we, uh, you guys are, are definitely so proud that you're at the helm and you guys are leading the way. So in conclusion, let's embrace this partnership together as a community. Let's continue to say thank you to those who paved the way and the shoulders that we're standing on. And I want to say thank you to Lumen for this investment back to our community because um, that's what you've all been about, has been community and lifting up communities. And this investment is no different. So thank you. Thank you. Representing the city of West Monroe, Mayor Stacy Mitchell. Well, good morning. It is definitely a pleasure to be here in the city of West Monroe, and, and I appreciate being invited to, to this event and to this great um, announcement today. You know, Dr. Barry, when Dr. Barry called and told me about the donation, the property donation, I was intrigued. I said, okay, that's cool. And then when he started talking about what this facility, you know, what the building can be and what they wanted to do with the building, with technology and innovation and a, and a hub for our community, I was excited. Because as we work together regionally, as we continue to work all for the same purpose, economic development, quality of life, infrastructure, working on changing lives, as Dr. Barry said, an innovation and technology hub of this caliber is fantastic. It is exciting. It is a great investment in our community. I know I've traveled around in different places um, across the United States, mostly in the Delta, and we've seen innovation hubs and what they can do for a community and for a region. I know Mayor Ellis has done the same, and I'm sure more extensively than I have. And no one has a facility or a center of this caliber that has been donated to them. So with ULM at the lead and, and taking this on, you know, our future is bright. And you know, Dr. Barry and ULM, I wanna say thank you for seeing the opportunity, for having the foresight for what it can do and continuing to use this building and this facility in a positive manner for growing our community, just like Lumen has done. Grown our community, been such a big part of our community that, that this building will continue to serve in a positive manner and, and be what it needs to be for our, for our area. So thank you to Dr. Barry and to ULM. Thank you to Lumen. And of course, what a great legacy in naming the building after Mr. Williams and all of his contributions to North Louisiana and of course his success. So thank y'all. Representing the city of Sterlington, Mayor Matt Talbert. What an exciting day for North Louisiana. You know, just uh, north of here, Sterlington lies, and we, we are a bedroom community, but there's no longer lines of delineation between us and Monroe and West Monroe, and that's the thing that's most exciting. I know when I talk to these mayors and other elected officials, the, the spirit of cooperation between all of those folks working together, when we work together, this is the kind of stuff that can happen. And so Dr. Barry and, and the ULM staff and, and the Lumen staff and owners, uh, they, they, they embraced that and they found a way to continue this beautiful campus here and take it to the next level. And we couldn't be more excited in Sterlington to have ULM right here in our backyard and um, you know, all the people that will come in and the business that will come in. We know that when students come here for four years, they're gonna live, work, and worship right here. And as they leave these doors with that graduation certificate in their hand, we wanna have those businesses here ready to take those workers on. And, and what better place to do it than right out the front door here on 165. So Dr. Barry and Lumen, thank you for your investment in North Louisiana. 
and we look forward to working with you in the future. Next, Shane Smiley, representing the Washita Parish Police Jury. Thank you, Lisa. Um, on behalf of the Washita Parish Police Jury and the entire parish of Washita, I would like to say thanks for having me here today, allowing me to speak to you. I'd like to say to Stephanie, Dr. Barry, ULM, and Lumen. Um, we really appreciate you and your team and um, your teams and all of your hard work in getting us to, to today and making today a reality. Today's announcement brings about exciting news for endless opportunities, both for ULM and our community. The building we are in today and this beautiful campus that we are on is possible because of one man's vision and faith, coupled with leadership and hard work of he and his team and dedicated employees of many, many years. This single largest donation to ULM in its 92-year history will have a lasting impact on our college students and our entire region for many years to come. It will forever positively influence Northeast Louisiana through education, workforce, and economic development. Ironically, Mr. Williams' vision is now his legacy to our community. It is my hope that God will bless Dr. Barry and ULM and Dr. Barry's vision for this campus as it did for Mr. Williams and his vision, and that these buildings will be an incubator to not only produce successful businesses, but successful people, men and women, that will not only positively affect Washita Parish, but society as a whole. I am grateful to Lumen and their decision to donate this property to ULM and transfer it, um, and I'm equally excited for Dr. Barry and ULM. Dr. Barry is a friend of mine. Uh, we work together closely. I believe in Dr. Barry and his team. I believe in ULM. And I'm most appreciative for Lumen in believing in them as well. I can't wait to see what happens on this campus. And on behalf of the Washtenaw Parish Police Jury and Washtenaw Parish, we're here to assist in any way that we can. Thank you. I feel fairly confident that on September the 9th, 2021, the day he was named the ninth president of ULM, Ron Barry never in his wildest dreams imagined a day like today would occur during his presidency. What I do know is that he is a servant leader with a goal of making Northeast Louisiana a place where everyone has the potential to thrive. He will tirelessly seek every opportunity to maximize the potential of this extraordinary gift. It is indeed now my honor to introduce to you again our president, Dr. Ron Berry. Wow, again, uh, you guys thought you were done with me, didn't you? Yeah. Um, where to start? You know, this was supposed to be an intimate gathering among a group of friends to announce this historic gift that is going to transform our region. Um, yesterday afternoon, we were here and we were putting out these chairs, wondering whether or not it was going to be enough, and, or was it too many? Uh, and Melissa Mann, where's Melissa? Melissa's here somewhere. Melissa Mann and I, stand up, Melissa. Everybody needs to see Melissa. Um, Melissa and I were having this conversation about growing up in a small town. And, you know, I grew up in Winsboro. Melissa grew up in what I thought was Oak Grove. And then she corrected me and said, no, it's Pioneer. And, uh, you know, Melissa has been tremendous throughout this entire process, and we owe her and all of the Lumen uh, folks a, a debt of gratitude. But, you know, I, I'm sure Melissa would agree with me. You know, growing up in these small towns, Saturday night was a big deal. You know, you got in your car, and you got away from home, and you made the loop. Has anybody made the loop when they were in high school? And for me, it was Sonic. I don't know what it was in Pioneer. It was Sonic too, okay? 
And you got home, and your mom usually said, okay, so I know who was in the car with you. I know where you stopped. I know who you talked to. And I know what you ate at Sonic. I feel at home right now. Because there are so many people here that really weren't supposed to know about today. It's awesome. I'm glad you're here to celebrate with us on obviously the donation of this campus. But what's not so obvious is the other reasons we're here to celebrate. We're here to celebrate a company that had humble beginnings in a parlor. We're here to celebrate a man and his family who grew that business into an internationally known leader in technology. We're here to celebrate every employee from Monroe around the world that currently works for Lumen and continues the legacy that started right here in our community. We're here to celebrate everyone that led us to this moment. We're here to celebrate the strategic partnership that this moment represents. Not only the strategic partnership, but the continuation, the evolution, the enhancement, the significant growth of what Lumen means to our community and will continue to mean for its nearly a thousand employees that will still work here, live here, help our communities grow as they volunteer in our nonprofits and they support our United Way and all the other great organizations are in our community. We're here to celebrate the legacy of Clark M. Williams and all the people that worked with him to create this amazing campus. The man who gave so many people in our region an opportunity to be more than they ever dreamed possible. The man that created the company that hired so many graduates from ULM and Louisiana Tech and Grambling and Delta Community College. The company that was in our classrooms helping us teach our kids. The company that donated money to create innovative classrooms and innovative programs. The employees that did that for us. A long history of changing lives in our region a long history of meeting individuals where they were and helping them achieve amazing things in our community. And to give in them and instill in them the principles and the values of this company to give back and to lift other people up. This community is so fortunate to have had this company begin here, grow here, and now to continue here and to remain a strategic partner with all of us, especially ULM. ULM's gone through a little growth, a few name changes. Uh, we're very fortunate that one of our graduates from our first iteration was Mr. Clark Williams. He graduated from I'm NLSC, Northeast Louisiana State College, just a few years ago. ULM benefited from him greatly, and benefited from this facility and all the employees, the former leaders who invested so much in us and so much in our community. So it is with a huge honor, distinct pleasure, that I formally announce that this entire campus, the buildings, the grounds, will forever now be known as the Clark M. Williams Innovation Campus. I can tell you this community is honored. 
I'm looking out there at the sign now. It was recently changed. There's a sign on 165 that now says Clark M. Williams Innovation Campus. That sign will remind us all of the legacy that started in Oak Ridge, that grew here, and will forever remain here. We are so fortunate for Lumen. We are so thankful for Lumen for agreeing to allow us to not only use these amazing facilities, but to continue the legacy in which their company was founded. Now, it also gives me a great honor to introduce and welcome someone that uh, is very special to this community, very special to this company and this organization. And I know all of you in this room know her, and that's Ms. Carolyn Perry to speak on behalf of the Clark M. Williams family. Ms. Carolyn. Y'all don't know how this makes us feel. Uh, but on behalf of my sister, Annette Carroll, who was a 1974 graduate of ULM, me and the rest of my Williams family, we're truly honored to be here today. For those of you who did not know my father, he would be quite embarrassed, uh, as he never liked attention drawn to him. But I know he would be elated to know that this company's headquarters would be home to his alma mater. You see, Daddy graduated <clears throat> from Oak Ridge High School in Oak Ridge, Louisiana in May 1939. There were five in his graduating class. He knew his parents could not afford to send him to college because they were running a little small telephone company in Oak Ridge during the Depression. However, because he was salutatorian out of five students, <laughs> he received a partial scholarship to what was then Northeast Center of Louisiana State University. Of course, even with the scholarship, he could not afford um, room and board for a two-year college. So he convinced his father to purchase a 1940 Plymouth so he could drive to school and pay the notes on the car by charging his friends that he would carry back and forth to school. <laughs> Must have worked because he did end up graduating. He went to serve his country in the Army Air Corps. He married my mother in July of 1946, and their wedding gift, Oak Ridge Telephone Company. It was given to my father mainly because his father could not send him to college, but he had two sisters who were given the opportunity to go to LSU. So he felt like he needed to give daddy something. Fast forward 1993, at their summer, commencement exercises. ULM bestowed on him the university's rare and highest honor, an honorary doctorate, only the eighth one in the university's 60-year history. While he was robed and tasseled, he stood to a standing ovation for a student who had done quite well with only a two-year degree. We all know that time changes things, whether we like it or not. And with all the changes that were happening within the company, add a pandemic to it with everyone working remotely, I saw nothing but empty buildings and empty parking lots. When Harvey and I met with Dr. Berry, and by the way, you remind me so much of my father, your demeanor, your generosity, I told Harvey that when we left the meeting, because I said, he just reminds me of Daddy. 
<clears throat> I was excited to learn that ULM was bringing life back to the buildings. I would like to thank Kate Johnson, and of course, our own Bruce Hanks, and the Lumen Board of Directors for their generous donation, which will mean so much to, this, to the university and the surrounding areas. I want to leave you with this one thought. Dr. Dennis Swanberg, I'm sure you've all have heard of him. He was former pastor of West Monroe Baptist. Uh, and now he's considered America's minister of encouragement. But he's a friend of our family and he knew that I was kind of struggling with the change and, and so he sent me a book. He said, Carolyn, I want you to read this. It's my latest book called Planting Shade Trees. In his book, he teaches that though not everyone can be a legend, we all have the opportunity and responsibility to leave a godly legacy. The best shade trees you will ever plant are the ones you will never sit under. None of us are self-made. We're all sitting under shade trees that were planted by our forefathers, by our families, and by our friends. Now it's your turn to leave a meaningful legacy by planting your own shade tree for others to sit under. I would like to thank that these buildings are my father's shade, shade trees for you to sit under. Thank you. Thank you, Caroline, for those beautiful remarks. And I give you our word. We will strive every day to make you and your family proud. Before we close and enjoy this fabulous morning, it's always a day for champagne, right? I would like to take a minute to thank a few more people who made sure today was a huge success. Kim Sweat from Lumen, Brody McMahon from Lumen, Brian Cole from Lumen, Melissa Mann and her communications team, Chrissy Otan from ULM for the decorations, the refreshments, and all these logistics. ULM's Office of Marketing and Communications for the constant adaptability of an ever-changing event. And our little sidekick, Jamie Hanks. <laughs> Members of our prep staff and Centennial Scholars that were here with us today, Aramark for the delicious treats, Sir Speedy for the patience and willingness to go above and beyond on a moment's notice. Just so you'll know a funny, yesterday Clark didn't have an E on it, but today it does. Our ULM Police Department, our ULM Facilities Team, my last page, I promise. And of course, the new sign. I'm gonna thank my husband and the Tom and Mamie Scott Foundation for the temporary sign that you see today in their generous donation. Thank you all for being a part of today's announcement and stay tuned for opportunities to attend future events that will provide tours and more plans for this incredible facility. The best is and will continue to be the best on the bayou, far greater than we ever dreamed possible. Thank you all. Go enjoy the champagne.